Hey guys, welcome back to my third Let's Play for Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs. We are at a Marmalade Alert level 4. The little shithead is trying to lick my toes. And I'm kind of hidden here by my new desk trying to get away from him, but he's hunting. We are at, a, unfortunately, a Jello Alert level 0. But you guys all kind of expect that, though, don't you? Alright, so, we explored the other side, found that weird secret container... Or not secret, secret room. Oh my god, my grammar and English suck today. But, ooh, well, hello there. Okay, what's going on in here then? Okay, I'm gonna pee my pants really soon because. Okay, we'll come back here. We're gonna, we're gonna go. Wait, wait. Do you do you, do you work? No. Okay. So things are going really well. Life's going really well. Jesus. Christ. Primini. Here we go again, guys. You're gonna make me cry. Mandus, do you know me? Who are you? Where are my children? Trapped, Mandus. Far below us. The machine is fouled. It is breached. It is flooded. The bulkheads are down. The children are engaged. If you help me, I can help you release them. Restore the power, Mandus. Drain the flooding and restart the great engines. How? Where should I go? Hello? Hello? I'm wondering if that's what I had just done by moving that steam pipe last time, so... More outside! Oh my god, can we, can we just check out the rest of the house before I go outside? I think that's for the best. Oh! Oh! Oh, there we go. Okay, I guess I was already here. Okay, so let's then go to the other hallway that we saw over here. Oh god. Yeah, this is gonna suck, isn't it, guys? Alright, open the door. Let's check it out. I wonder if the footprint, the, the, the maze of rooms we have here matches the actual dimension to the outside. No. Nope. No outside yet. We're just going to keep looking, guys. Going to keep... Whoa, hey, it's a strip of paper. December 20th, 1899. I am to have a visitor, the distinguished Professor A. He has come to ascertain my mental well-being after my prolonged absence from the club, but I am not stupid. He's here to spy for them. When they stalked the Ripper, he was often called to pontificate upon the lacerations and missing organs. And now he comes to me, to doff and wheedle and my dear sir, but you must still grieve, and perhaps just a quick look at your engines, the triumph of the age. He knows nothing of loss, nothing of sacrifice. But to refuse, that would simply poke the hornet's nest, invite a swarm of interlopers and thieves. I must entertain this buffoon and submit to his intrusion. Perhaps I should show him the tripery to see whether his stomach, so trained by rummaging in the innards of clumsily vivisected whores, is strong enough to stare into the real engines of this golden age. I may even introduce him to Jack, or his sons at least. We have stronger locks on the windows now, and we bring their toys to them. And oh my god, the cat is now attacking me. That was not good timing, cat. Oh my god. Can't get into the thing. You know, actually, the locks are kind of a cool idea because they signify to you you can't go into those rooms, but it makes the area look bigger than it is. So I think that's not necessarily a bad thing. All right, what's this? Ooh, a bathroom. Bathroom. I wonder if you can see me through that. Hey. Oh, hey, here's that picture again I was telling you guys about. I'm what? Ooh. Uh-oh. And we are finding more stuff. Ever more stuff. Oh, yeah. This is going to be awesome, guys. Let's do this. Yep, you can see through it, too. How come I knew that? Wow. So many little walls to hide behind. Oh, looking upon my... Is that my bedroom or my wife's bedroom? Hmm. I do say I'm happy that it's not so dark here. Oh, hey. More churns. Oh. Oh, was I supposed to toss something in there? I bet you I was. Okay, so let's stop this steam engine. There we go, turning the engine on. 
Can we pick anything up here, guys? No, we can't. Is there something to pick up? Probably missing it. I can just hear Jello yelling, hey, you missed something. Okay, so it is different enough, though, than the first one. Because the first one, I was going around lighting things, and by this time, I was running and hiding from what's-his-butt. Okay, nothing. Nope, still nothing. Okay, we'll leave you open for now. I don't see anything else I could really use from here. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Kind of all creepy, guys. Wait. Oh, there we go. There we go. I knew I can get out. Why are you guys flickering? Oh. Holy shit! And a blood stain on the floor. Wait. Make sure I can't get in there. Okay. Not yet. We're going to go down here, guys. See if we can find that pig thing. Okay, a little creeped out. This is a little creepy. Is that somebody there? Oh, no. Just a stat or a column. Okay, for a brief second. That was a little creepy. Okay, so we're going to try outside then, I guess, guys. I guess that's our next option here. So I'll go down here. We know all these rooms will eventually lead to the outside. <gasps> Fuck! I'm... That was not, yeah, that wasn't, no, that, no, that was wrong. All right, we're going outside then, guys. Okay, a little bit of outlast feeling here. Oh, I remember amnesia and that's some of the outside levels. Okay, so this is not where I can go out. Okay, so we're going to have to go around to the other rooms. I thought they all went under the same little center, but obviously they don't. And I bet you, nope, nothing there. We're going to just double check here. I'll be right back while I check to make sure. Still can't go in there. Still can't really turn that. Nope. Oh, boy. Okay, a little anxious now. Now, now the whisperer is a little bit on edge. He's now sitting forward. He's not relaxed. Not happy about this at all. Let's see if we can go out of this room. All right, here we go. This is really kind of creepy. I am off to market. I will cry all the way home. I will have none. I will have none at all. I was a bad guy, wasn't I? I'm positive that's the case. I'm positive. You've now hit kind of a creepy area. Wait a minute, wasn't this where I was? How did it open? Okay. Check to the left. Can I turn these at all? No. Okay, so evidently all the things look different now. Oh, it's charnel house time, guys. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going out here. Okay, so we're outside. Kind of looking around. Kind of trying to figure out what I'm doing, where I'm at. Except being creeped out by what's going on. Can I go in here?
Oh boy, this is really going to suck, guys. Can I climb up here? Nope. Oh, wait, wait. Excellent. But can't really go anywhere with it. That's okay, because now I, at least I know I can get up places when I try. Oh, wow, big factories. Okay, I thought it was just a big old house, but evidently it's a big old factory, too. Nope, can't go in there either. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it, guys? So I'm creeping along, all of a sudden a little quiet, mainly because I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. Can I wear the hat, mask? No. Guys, stay away from everything. Don't touch anything. It's not going to matter, it said. Okay, I wonder how long this... Whoa! Against the rising waters. Planted the fingernails in flower pots all along the river when it's dark so the sun can catch them. All the world is an achy reason. We will grow hands now. I see we've now made it so I can't get back up. That's okay. Okay, that's, that means we're moving on to the next story, and I'm going in the right direction. Ooh, 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 something to read, guys. Let's read it. June 3rd, 1899. I realize now that my fear of dirt stems from the disease I contracted climbing those lost jungle temples. It is as if those clean places, so free of humanity's filth, imprinted upon my soul and left it fragile to what I find here. Fear is what keeps us all in our places, and the fear of the flesh, the ruin of the flesh, is the greatest of them all. I am sickened. I am ruined. But I will build such machines to contain this plague and heal us all. A new century is upon us. I am a crazy mofo, guys. Crazy mofo. Okay. I'm used to being able to get... I don't have to worry about oil and stuff. Okay, I really like this. I really like that they got rid of the stupid collect candles, collect oil... Hopefully they keep up doing this, because this is definitely more story-based that way. I don't feel like I'm just trying to touch things. Well, to get places, I'm trying to touch things, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm just feeling better about it. So, already, guys, A number one improvement. Come on, slow coach. It's this way. Sweetheart. You can be a dead corpse. Again. Nothing here to look at. Okay. Oh God, here we go. The shaking ground you feel is our attempts to clear the flood waters. Treachery, Mandus. We were undone. Your children are trapped by this act. You must find them before it is too late. What do you need me to do? How can I find them? Always deeper, Mandus. Through the piston room and into the tunnels. Then find the bilge and flush the rotten water. I will help you where I can. But you must be swift, my little friend. Okay, already creepy time. We're we're maxing out creepiness. Creeping it. Oh wait, see, I wonder. I wonder if it's been beneficial that I have not been using this flyer flashlight. Okay, let's pretend. That I'm not trying to hide, because you know what? My guy wouldn't know to hide. Oh, hey, I got mail. You have mail. I also learned playing out last, watching it with Jello. That I was supposed to be filming more than I had, so maybe I should have this flashlight out more than I have been. Because I would have picked up other notes. Not that it works the same way, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do it. Oh, there's like... Whoa, did I just see something flick by? Little creepy though. Little creepy, guys. Right, let's keep going. Okay. I think we're going to shut this door. 
One thing I did learn in Outlast. Shut the doors when you could. Can you lock it? Nope. Okay. Now I have to worry about the oil. Let's do it. Oh, I need a new fuse. Okay, see? That, that little journal thing popped up in the right. Oh! Holy cow, there's a ton of stuff. I must have been so intent on things. So let's look at him. The Grand Hall. That voice on the telephone. He speaks as if he knows me, and indeed I seem to remember him. Like a twin pulled away from the other at birth. I feel we're entwined, though I cannot conceive of how. I am a drowning man grasping for the service within my own house. Beneath me, I know there are splendid architectures hidden in the dark if I can only find entrances. On bears and bathtubs. And after the party, she took my arm and said, But darling, how did you get from the trophy room to the guest bathroom so quickly? Everyone considers you quite the magician. My darling Lilibeth, my father's house has many rooms, and as for mine, well, it also has secret chambers. A curious discovery. Metal ticking as it cools and contracts. This must be the strange machine my new friend told me of. If my children discover this place, it is entirely conceivable they strayed downwards, delighted in their discovery. Very well, it seems my route is predestined. The descent begins. Trapped! Was it a trick? That voice on the phone, who seems so close to my own, who seems to know me so well. Does he lead me for nefarious purpose of his own sacred devising? But do I have a choice? Even though his motives are unknown to me, I must find my boys. I will follow the machinery down to the very core of the earth if it will lead me to Edwin and Enoch. The saboteur has been this way. Intriguing. The gates are far too heavy for a man to lift and are instead hoisted aloft by a chain coiled about a tube that appears to be spun by motors and connected to these electrical switches. Whilst the fuse is blown, the motor cannot be spun, and the gates remain an impenetrable barrier to progress. Okay, let's double check that. Cool. I can't believe I missed that, guys. That's kind of my, my bad. So there's the fuse. Means I need to find a fuse, doesn't it? Can you get, you're not, he's not opening. Oh, can he? Can you, if I push open, can, cannot touch him. Okay, so it must mean I must go the other way first. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep my eye open out for those like stupid journal things some more. I obviously missed it. Oh, is that a fuse? Oh. I don't think this is a fuse, but we're gonna try it anyways. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. As Randy Macho Man Savage would say, oh yeah. They really wanna make sure you didn't miss them. That's probably for the best. Okay, we're gonna go dark for a minute, guys. Come on, let's go. Let's move this puppy. Is this what I need to do? Oh no. This is gonna be one of those ones where the whisper's never gonna know which way he needs to needs to roll this. Okay, let's go down then. Let's go down. Let's keep it all the way down. I hate puzzle rooms. Probably gonna get... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope, nothing more. Okay, so... Let's go back here. Let's see? Still nothing, though. No. Okay. Let's go out here. Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. Okay, nothing new, nothing new. That is kind of creepy, though. Okay, this is the kind of steampunk that I like. The creepy... Uh oh Uh-oh, having a hard time moving. Okay, so we can go up there. That's good. Bandaged feet and eyes. 
small bones in the orchard. I have carried this world on my back with its legs about me. Damn this wretched soul. I am given birth to nothing but machinery. Oh. Okay. Well. Guys, this is where we're going to wrap up the third Let's Play for Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs. Enough creepy factor for me today. I will see you guys next time. And until then, take care. <laughs>